Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nick. I talk about Xaya Aplex Xaya. Today is a special day, not because it's Christmas tomorrow, well, also for that, but because it's the end of season 3. Finally, after uh, 5 months of battle, we came to an end. So finally, we know who's gonna go to a higher division, who won the championships, and who unfortunately got relegated to a lower division. This season 3 started the 15th of August and ended today, the 23rd of December, for a total of 38 matches. It's pretty long, guys. Sorry, 38 matches of the leagues. But in between, there are also cup and shield matches, so it's, it's way more matches. But let's stop talking like that. Let's jump straight to the results and uh, let's see what happened in the, la the last week and yesterday. As usual, let's start with League 1, the League of the Big Bosses. And by the way, because I wanted to wait for the end of the season, there are three days that I'm gonna tell the results of. So feel free to skip through the chapters of this YouTube video if you don't want to just listen to me saying all the results. Even though it's so fun, isn't it? All right, let's go. Let's start with uh, Thursday, 16 December, uh, League One, the big boss one. One day, I'll be there, one day. Manchester City, Torino, 4-1. Villarreal, 0, Sassuolo, 1. Juventus, 2, Internazionale, 0. Sevilla, 1, Barcelona, 0. Atletico Madrid, Paris Saint-Germain, 1-2-2. Liverpool, uh, Milan, 1-1. Real Madrid, uh, Napoli, 0-0. Manchester City, 4, Lazio, 1. Valencia, 0, Arsenal, 4. Celta Vigo 2 and Chelsea 3. Finally Chelsea won something. And then Sunday 19 of December Torino 4, Celta Vigo 0, well done Kryptonite, Sassuolo 0, Manchester United 0, Internazionale 2, Villarreal 1, Barcelona 0, Juventus 2, Paris Saint Germain 0, Sevilla 1, Milan 1, Atletico Madrid 2, good job Atletico Madrid, I think you're, you're safe from relegation, but I don't know, I still have to look at the chapter, uh, at the ladder, so I don't wanna jinx, I think you're safe, I don't know. Napoli 3, Liverpool 1, Pakal, big boss, yes! By the way, let's see if San Gennaro helped us in uh, save you from relegation. Even though, if you got rele relegated, I wouldn't mind to face you with my Getafe next year. Lazio 0, Real Madrid 2, Arsenal 2, Manchester City 2. Manchester City that drew, this is very rare. So well done, Arsenal. Chelsea 0, Valencia 0. And now, Thursday, 23 December. Actually today, not yesterday. Torino 1, Sassuolo 2, Manchester United 1, Internazionale 0, Villarreal 0, Barcelona 0, Juventus 0, Paris Saint-Germain 5. This is odd. Paris Saint-Germain, well done. Away against Juventus. 5-0. Something went wrong there, right? Eh? Juventus, what happened? Anyway, Sevilla 1, Milan 2, Atletico Madrid, Napoli 0-0. Liverpool 2, Lazio 0, Real Madrid 2, Arsenal 0, Manchester City 1, Chelsea 0, Celta Vigo 2 and Valencia 0. Let's jump to the ranks and let's see who won League 1. Maybe... Manchester City, of course, but the real question is who got relegated and here we are exactly of course We already knew Manchester City won a few matches ago mathematically so once again Miss Fox Well, 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 well done for super winning season 3 League 1 and then follows Real Madrid uh, by Tigre, Tigre Baker with 74 points Arsenal Liverpool and Barcelona follows but let's go to the relegation zone let's see who got relegated ay 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 San Gennaro wasn't enough Pakal I'm sorry I, I tried my best me and San Gennaro we have a special relationship sometimes you know sometimes he helps me for things uh, but uh, unfortunately it didn't work for you I'm sorry but I'm gonna be facing you in League 2 I think let's see where you, where you end up anyway Chelsea Celta Vigo Napoli and Atletico Madrid I spoke too early got relegated sorry for Atletico Madrid uh, manager Pakal Mavericks for Celta Vigo and Eshwar for Chelsea. Let's jump to League 2B where I play. Okay, let's see the results back in the last Thursday actually, 16 December. Palmeiras 1, Rangers 0, Aston Villa 0, Cincinnati 1, Leganes 0, Tottenham Hotspur 2, Everton 1, Nemo Olympic 0, Roma 1, Getafe 3, Southampton 0, Olympiacos 1, Levante 2, Bologna 0, Cagliari 0, Stadrenne 5, San Lorenzo Pauk 3-3, three, three. 
Cruzeiro 3, Angers 3. So many goals. And Sunday 19 December, Rangers 1, Cruzeiro, Cruzeiro 0, Cincinnati, Palmeiras 3 to 3, Tottenham, Aston Villa 1 to 1, Nimo Olympic, Leganes 0 to 0, everyone is drawing. Getafe, Everton 1 to 1, that's good, Everton is number 1 in League 2. Olympiacos 1, Roma 2, Bologna 0, Southampton 0, Sadrane 0, Levante 4, Pauk 1, Cagliari 0, Angers 3, San Lorenzo 2, finally San Lorenzo you lost. I hate San Lorenzo. And then today's match. Rangers 1, Cincinnati 2, Palmeiras 1, Tottenham 0, Aston Villa, Nimo Olympic 0 to 0, Leganes 1. No. Getafe 0? Wow, that's very bad. Leganes was already relegated. And okay, I was playing away, playing away, but after we see what happened. It's weird. I shouldn't have lost this one. Okay, shit happens. Anyway, let's go. Uh, Everton 1, Olympiacos 0, Roma 5, Bologna 0, Southampton, Stadrine 0 to 0, Levante, Pauk 2 to 2, Cagliari 0, Angers 5, Cruzeiro 0, San Lorenzo 2. And here is the final ranks. Rankings or ranks, whatever. Everton, uh, Everton at the end won uh, by only one by one point above Roma. So congratulations, Postecoglou, for winning League 2B and being promoted to League One with a real big boss. Good job, Everton. Everton dominated, not dominated, but played very well for almost all the season. So it's well deserved. And Roma by Omewal Wolf did a beautiful second half of this championship of this season and uh, yes unfortunately I, I was not as good as them but I think they truly deserve it but it you know next time I'll be there anyway what I hate the most is San Lorenzo because San Lorenzo it was unmanaged it's an average team like me like Getafe but it kept on winning in the last 10 matches I think it just kept on winning apart a few hiccups here and there and as you can see me and San Lorenzo we finished uh, together with 73 points but because San Lorenzo scored so many goals be uh, more than me as you can see here San Lorenzo scored 81 goals and against 32 goals they got only 32 goals so the goal difference is 49 but in my case unfortunately I got only one goal more than San Lorenzo but I scored very little like 68 which is not very little it's just that the those ab above me they scored a lot way more goals than me that this is something to keep in mind for the next season so yes it's a pity it's a pity because um i was really running and playing very well until the very end and as you can see a few mistakes here especially against leganes uh i only needed the one drew only one point to secure the third position which is uh, is not promotion but it's very good for my first season but I lost so nothing take notes next season I know what to do let's go to see who got relegated in uh, league 2b so they will be relegated in uh, league 3 Bologna by Alexanders Leganes you see, they won against me in the last matches. So I'm like, Ooh, I can't believe it. And then Aston Villa. Oh, Leganes, congratulations. Aston Villa by Scott RBK and Nim Olympic by Bailim. Okay, so you know what? Let's see who are the best players of this season the past season in league 2b and in league 1 let's start by league 2b here we go so who scored the most who's the bomber or the capo cannoniere i don't know in english what's the word the, the most striker the strikest player of season 3 in league 2b is uh, lehon by levante for in 27 appearances he scored 18 goals for a ratio of 0 0.67 that's very good it's almost almost two goals out of three matches played i mean that would be 0 0.75 if i'm not mistaken but yeah but it's almost there i mean it's great it's more than one goal out of two matches and then arnautovic from everton Checo from roma big bomber and then my mata good job mata let's see the rating who uh, who is the best player overall by rating of the season in league 2b and we see simeone simeone by uh, plays in Cagliari for an impressive 8.07 in 15 appearances okay and i don't know how to interpret this because after um below him okay simeone first of all is a very young player and 
is very good also in the in the true soccer is the son of a very famous Simeone player and um, so he's very talented but the thing is that he plays he, he got an 8.07 in 15 appearances while Jeko in 35 appearances got an 8.06 so in my opinion if I see these two um, statistics I would give more weight on Jeko because it's only a 0.01 rating point below Simeone but more than double present appearances they more significant but anyway we can see that the Jeco Simeone and Morales by Levante they are the best place and then San Lorenzo I think I'm gonna go for San Lorenzo I'm gonna do some scouting in San Lorenzo to see if there's somebody worthwhile investing because you never know assist man yes Mata you see my Mata not bad Mata 16 uh, assists in 35 appearances followed by Romero in San Lorenzo and then Leon in Levante old Spanish I think apart from Romero and then Coca Olympicos that this is very interesting especially when a, when a striker like Mata is also an assist man this can be very very useful because not only scores for you but it also make you score make score the other guys that they play for you the other strikers or the other players so this is very important man of the match El Sharawi for Rangers 25 appearances 11 times man of the match it's a lot and also Morales again from Levante I think this Morales is very good and then McCartney from Southampton and Jeco again from Roma good good job especially El Sarawi you know El Sarawi I think they call it they used to call him Il Faraone when he was playing for Milan in Italy I think he was Il Faraone because he's Egyptian he's a, El Sharawi is Egyptian he's actually Italian now but originally from Egypt something like that yellow cards and red cards not very interesting let's look at League 1 here we go so the most goal the bomber of League 1 is Mahrez from Manchester City and is followed by Aguero from Manchester City with exactly the same statistics crazy as you can see in 36 appearances these two guys scored 22 goals each this totals a 44 goals in 36 appearances for Manchester City as a team so it basically means that every time that Manchester City played at least one goal was done by one of these two guys here and this is insane it is it is very insane followed by Benzema in Real Madrid same number of appearances half number of goals and then Aubameyang from Arsenal same statistics as Karim Benzema ratings of course Sergio Aguero but not Mah Mahanes don't know why Anyway, Sergio Aguero with an average rating of 8.25 in 36 experiences. That's, that's even higher than Dzeko in uh, League 2B. Followed by Hazard from Real Madrid and Mane from Liverpool. Nice to see De Gea here. There's um, the goalkeeper of Manchester United. Let's see the assist. Mahares. Here we go. This Mahares is strong. I need to check his uh, shares. Followed by Aguero, Hazard and Barella from Internazionale. Let's see the man of the match. Of course, Aguero, Chesney by Juventus, seven times uh, man of the match in 38 appearances, Aguero 12 times in 36 appearances, and then Zaza, Simone Zaza, plays for Torino, we, are, we already looked at him in, when we were looking at uh, Kryptonite in one video, so Kryptonite, even though you're not making him play as a striker, it doesn't really matter because... <laughs> It's pretty high in rating, it's pretty high in man of the match, so it means that he plays very well where you are already making him play. So good job. And then Hazard by uh, playing from Real Madrid. I really wanted to see the statistics of these players because, you know, next season, maybe by looking at the statistics, you can find very talented, very talented players that you maybe you didn't know of and you weren't paying attention, but statistics they always pay attention and if you have a system like here where you can when the, when where there is a database that you can maybe you can query for now you it does it does not such a analytics database that you can query as you want but just by looking at the end of the season on who are the best men of the matches or the best average rating in all of this the the leagues you know you can start following some of these players for example now i'm interested i want to see this mahares this player how old is he and the shares the share value and the 
the order book I wanna see if there are some shares available I, I really doubt but let's see to see him we can basically click at click on his name from here for example so let's have a look at uh, Mahrez 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 who knows here we go Mahrez um, you can see that uh, he's an attacking midfielder right he plays on the right that's exactly what I needed he's 30 years old he's not old not even young for this game and the value is 8 million the value is very high as a comparison Aguero is 9 million and the wage also is very high is 107,000 SMC and uh, uh, again for comparison Aguero who's probably the best player of this season at least is 190 okay it's not super high compared to Aguero but it's still high if you want another uh, comparison my Jaime Mata Mata my player my striker he's a striker but his overall rating is 88 mata and mahrez is 92 okay way stronger but mata value is 5 million and the wage is significantly lower wage of mata is 36000 smc which is three times lower <laughs> than mahrez you see to play with these players you need to have a lot of funds a lot of money that's why he's playing for Manchester City and he's not gonna play for Getafe and the share price for investors for shareholders is 18 um, SMC but this is the evaluation of the player based on the rating and the age however the market price the market value of this player I assume is gonna be super higher more way more than 18 so to, to look at that we can simply go to order book and see if somebody is selling shares and if so what was the last price that somebody was willing to pay for a share for this player let's go to shares order book this is gold guys this is gold okay this is a beta so it doesn't really matter but look at that this is a player that nobody probably has looked at and all the shares of this player are still on sale for very very low because you have to understand at the beginning all the shares are owned by in this case i think is snail brain who is a developer of xaya and you basically and he basically owns as you can see here from shareholders 70 percent of all players at the beginning and then you buy from him as you can see now i'm i have earned some smc because i'm a manager of getafe because i'm the agent of many players because i'm i'm also the owner of some shares of other players so what i can do is that i can buy the shares of this player because he's super strong he's aguero but discounted so let's buy all of them and this i know it's just for fun just to show you how it works because in the next beta release very soon everything will be restarted and also the shares that i'm buying now they will get cancelled but who cares because all the money that i'm earning here is fake for now because it's a beta but in the next beta the developers told us that they will allow us to to keep something for the release of the final full release this means that in the next beta if i buy something if i buy 100 shares of something maybe one percent of those are 100 the developers will leave them to me that's why it's gonna be important to, to win as much as we can in the beta in the next release in the next beta so that we can start accumulating something but let's see i'm gonna place an order for i want to get all of them like there are 1000 shares at the price of three so for a total of i'm gonna for the top for a price of three i'm gonna buy all of them one thousand for a total of three thousand smc let's go okay it takes a little bit to um update here because now that i send the transaction the transaction is being it has to be validated by the miners of the blockchain because everything that i'm doing now is going to be recorded in xia blockchain remember this is a blockchain game so even though the front end looks like a normal soccer manager game something like that now that i place the order my wallet will be updated with both the new balance of my S smc reduced by the the amount that i just spent and by the shares that i'm acquiring shares are kind of nft fractionalized nft i'm buying 1000 fractionalized nft of riyad mares at a certain price 
and I can go on you see okay now it updated I don't have uh, any other um, option to buy at that price the next step here is a uh, six so if I want I can buy others like price six you can say price six a uh, one thousand the quantity okay now because there are these sell orders I can match them directly but if I'm not happy with the sell orders of course just like uh, placing a limit order on a order based centralized exchanges I can set my own by order for example now I say that uh, I think that nine is too much I'm gonna place an order at seven for 500 shares okay now let's wait for it to update and here you go it's been updated there is no more six uh, or three sell orders at uh, of this player because i bought them all but there is one order that is mine buy order for 500 uh, shares at the price of seven for a total of 3500 shares uh, sorry smc okay guys uh, that was just to show you how it works and actually by looking at the statistics i found this uh, player yad mares that i didn't know before and i looked at his um, value and he looks very promising plus when i looked at the order book all of the shares were available this is happening only because we are in beta and not uh, a lot of players are actually playing this beta right now well we are like hundreds but just wait for the full release when real money is going to be involved when we have to buy the smc to play this game and believe me if you find you will not find something like that if you find something like that this is a kind of discounted agero very 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 promising and very lucrative in my opinion if you find something like that just buy the shares out of this game because it's gonna be worthwhile a lot and okay guys uh, that was it um, for this time this was a pretty longer than usual uh, session and a little bit more Christmas like as you can see from everything Merry Christmas to everyone and for those who don't celebrate oops Merry Merry whatever you want if you don't celebrate Christmas Merry life whatever and subscribe to this channel because a lot of interesting news are about to happen in Zaya if you don't know check my other videos because there's an ask me anything uh, ask me anything session and AMA, AMA that I summarize a little bit packed 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 with bullishness at the pure level and state you know you know what if you can visualize a bullishness thing that is that video okay if you feel sad and you think oh my god i know saya but i'm a little bit uh, skeptical of the future of saya well you shouldn't be first of all because it's about to break the blockchain gaming world second of all just check the saya ama in my channel or in the saya official channel and you feel much better yes okay guys subscribe like this channel and this uh, video and enjoy the holidays if you do if you don't just do holidays ciao